Fortress Big Bad Bruins are getting ready to fight for the puck in their historic hometown of Boston, Massachusetts. Hi, everybody, along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich, looking forward to a high-octane contest tonight because we have two teams with offensive credentials. Before anything starts, Doc, we better sharpen up our pencils because this has got a chance to fill up the score sheet. Both these teams love to score goals, and the folks behind us, they're looking forward to a lot of goals here tonight. How would you like to be one of these goaltenders, Doc? They know it's going to be a real test with all the offense on the ice. It may come down to whoever can make the critical stop well, he's at the one goal last game. Let's look at the starting netminders. Why? Kari Lettinen, native of Helsinki, has played for teams with nicknames such as the Wolves, Thrashers, and Stars, and yeah. has been a star for all. He gets the start in tonight's game. He gets the nod in goal tonight despite a loss in his last outing. And the opening faceoff is here. Great to have you with us. We've just started in Boston. The Bruins did a lot of things. Wow, that's got to be a call. That's got to be a penalty. And that's got to be an answer from the other team. Marshawn's feeling all of that. Better than the kid. He's just going <laughs> to slowly glide to the bench. Clang, clang. What a hit that was. Looks like he arrived at the rink in a bad mood. Maybe he missed his wake-up call. That early hit is an angry one. And down to McAvoy. Smart recovery by Johansson. Just missed the net with that one. There's not really much place to go with the shot. He's trying to be perfect. He misses, and the puck rings around the boards. Oh, my, what a hit. I like that he's trying to create space by throwing the body around. This is a way to change momentum in a hockey game. Laid on to Hyman. The pad came in handy that time. Gathered up by Horton. Pitching this one to Marlowe. Directing that one to Coyle. Starts a breakout by passing ahead of the play. Great save. Moving it to Marlowe. Toronto skating in their own end, trying to get to the neutral zone. A big collision there. He won't avoid something for doing that. And so we've got a fight, sort of. One has refused, but another steps in. That's going to build some team camaraderie. You love when a player sticks up for another. Well, I can't say I was exactly ready for this. I was halfway through a drink of water before the gloves go down. And they're trying to inject a little bit of energy into the game, and they'll do that with this tilt. I think he's injured. And it's over he with one fighting. last resounding mm -hmm. punch. But what did you think of it? I thought it was pretty even throughout. But at the end, certainly you have to give the nod to the big puncher. Well, these guys will have five minutes to get back dressed and get ready to go again at some point. Over seven minutes have transpired in the period. Neither goalie has made any mistakes so far. Look out, the hits are coming. Two on one. Fires. They can't find the target. You've got to make the goalie make the save. Can't do that unless the puck is on the net. The Bruins continue on in the defensive zone. And now it's directed to Wagner. Long shift for the defenseman. They need to get them off, and they can on this dump back in. Wagner's got no weight on his one leg as he limps his way back to the bench after that huge hit. The Leafs lose a man for two minutes for charging. The Bruins are going to try out their power play. I love going on the power play early in a game. You get to handle the puck. You get to make some plays. Really get you into the game. He just panned on it. Snapping a pass to Kapanen. Shoots it off. That puck is held and the whistle stops play. Toronto's had the last 10 games to be admired. They've been physical, they've been aggressive. Their power play has been exceptional, but they're gonna get no break tonight because their opponent has been every bit as good in those areas in their 10 game segment. Trying to go to Gardner. Took that away in his own zone. A heartening collision. You thought they were gone, they're not. If you're here to watch physical hockey, well there you go. A wonderful shot answered quickly. 
great display of goaltending right there, Doc. Recollected. On to Goche. Somebody got in early, and so offside is called. Boston's had an aggressive mindset throughout these last 10 games. They forechecked extremely well. They've been aggressive and on the body. We'll see if they can impose their will on their opponent, who's played much the same way over their last 10. Swept us on. Look out. Here it comes. Score! A power play goal. And it's a biggie. So he played a while play. in this period. Why did they get a power play? A goal. I was hoping Doc that was going to get that goal. first one. Yeah, no wonder you're busting Penry. Right? And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Marcus Johansson gives it to the point. He loads it up. Brings a shot. He scores! Second of the game. What a performance. Yeah, Sparks claim, bro. And they take the <laughs> neutral zone face off. Pass attempt to Johansson. What a tremendous hit. Tavares often leads with his skill. A tremendously talented player, but man, when he lays the body on, the bench jumps to its feet. That's a pass ahead. Cash. Cash money. Muscled <laughs> long. Riley. No team worth its name is going to let that go. Along with a little pushing and shoving, there's always a little talking going on in those scrums. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. Sorry. Sorry, bro. Just give me one sec. Right, I got an idea. Ah. What? Sorry, bro. And out of all of this, both received fighting major. Just give me, just give me one sec. Wait. Just give me one second, just give me one second. Alright. We have two shots. You almost forget that they're gonna keep track of the game by score. Two here. shots. The players seem to want to settle a score on every whistle. Just over six minutes to go first period. Bruh, I know, I know what you're gonna say. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. What? I should actually. I'll do that. Next whistle. Oh my. Nope. Boston's I'll do next got whistle, the lead bro. in this game, two to nothing. A solid, clean win. But the it, Bruins hopefully it. shifting from defense to offense in their own end. Stood him right up. Passing one off now to Kadri. Propelled to Hyman. Crosses that Can line. you get into a fight that first? Was a big hit. Oh, it's the whistle. open ice hits that hurt the most. That is a solid shoulder check there. Oh, what a save that was. Next whistle. Bah. Next whistle. Bah. A collision. The leaf skated up on the side. He had high hopes. So did we all. Oh, what? Why'd you do that? <laughs> one to work for. The Bruins have it along the side at mid ice. To Goche. Pitching it to Kapanen. A shot. That puck struck him in front. Smart recovery by Foy. Shot. He got a piece of that one. The shooter thought oh he had my. a chance, but the goaltender robs it. What a stop. A little pass from his goalie here. Puck is thrown to Horton. Steps across that line. Score! Not much time left, but enough for that one. The Maple Leafs from the neutral zone start to work. No! First period has come to a close. We'll get a rest. So will the teams. The Bruins have an advantage of one.
wonder what we're going to get here as the second period is underway. Let's just see here. Let's just see. Wonderful stop. Has it back deep. Looking to Johansson. He's still got a shot at the HT tonight, Doc. Two down, one to go. Osternock's tripped, and a penalty should be coming. Mm. The Bruins have their goalie at the bench, and they've replaced him on this delayed call. Fight. Ah, uh, can't fight. Nylander's headed to the penalty box. A minor for tripping. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. So much of a power play is confidence. When you have a little <laughs> success, you feel like you, you were saying that. That's what they should feel after they've already pocketed one power play goal. Routine save. Left wing pass to Krejci. Krejci. That was one. He'll get the number off. He's trying to hit that hit will change the momentum of this game. Johansson's the guy that got hit yet again. Toronto's I wish that they had the own announcers for every team. play now up the way. Yeah, because then we could the hear, hear Jack Edwards. That would be my dream. A milestone 50th career goal for this it game. would be funny. Because he, he would actually be like not biased because he would be told what to say. Because you know? if they got him saying you have to say he scores, That's a really then they would use it they for both Boston and Toronto. You know. Get out. Toronto's got this game tied up. Still, you, lots of you time know that one. Or he yells, get up. Three minutes gone. The red light has flashed four times. <laughs> Someone got hit and was like laying on the ground. And <laughs> then he just yelled, get up. It was like a half score. Can he make him chase him? Pitching this one to go chase. The ballerina. Knocks oh. it away with the stick. Wow, look at him. He's got a long way to go. Does he have enough gas? A slot wrister. Pat it away. Ooh, a dangerous play made by the goaltender, but he's got it. Mm. The Bruins go back to pick it up. Time is dwindling on this power play. Lights on that to McAvoy. That shot came from right in front. Now that's a timely save, a beautiful one. Shoot, that puck was obstructed oh. by a screen. Almost scored. And a save. Standing body contact. McAvoy's gonna have to gather himself after taking that hit solidly. He was not aware where everybody was. No, I should have that pass, pass in his so own end. Tremendous hit. When you step up like that, that stops all momentum through the middle of the ice. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. He throws it there. Oh, a save oh. there. Boston's in their own end and on the move. Remember, getting into a fight next whistle, bro. And they've got it again. Cuts off that pass on the attack. Oh, he Surprisingly, got it. It, you there hasn't been one yet. Eight minutes in. Boston's been dominating play. They didn't it's have a, what? a lot to show for it, but they've now broken the top. Solid win at center ice. Now what? Into the end of attack. Oh, man. Back on his stick. He scores! Patrick That's Marlo. why I shouldn't be on the first line, bro. Keaton Gardens. The Bruins with a win at center. And at an angle to DeBrus. Oh, what a hit that one was! That's what we call Doc, using the old Doc. Say! Directing that one to Marlowe. Can start the attack going in the zone. Puck loose now picked up. Moving it to Krejci. Shoots one. Say! Oh. Bro. Austin's broken the tie and got back ahead. Bro. And we're still in the second period. Should be March, fun bro. just to get to the end of this one. That's what I'm saying, bro. Whatever the game plan was in both dressing rooms, it might have been to press offensively, but I'm pretty certain it wasn't to abandon defense. We've had a boatload of goals already. Open ice hitting is not dead. Yeah. <laughs> now 
Let's direct it to Nylander. Carries it on in from center. Around it again. Man, oh man, what a hit. One of the great things about this sport is watching two big guys collide. <laughs> Good work up front on that hit. Snapping a pass to Hyman. Impressive effort there. Well, Henson's been like a one-man game today. He's been all over the And his number is all over the score sheet, too. You're supposed to get a fight. Satisfied. Never take your foot off the gas pedal. He's got two goals now. He better be thinking about getting number three. Over five minutes to go in the period. The Bruins. Guess that was me telling you, bro. Just broke the tie moments ago. That was me telling you. He's crushed. Biggest chance of the game. Telling you that you got a fight. That shot came from nowhere. Damn, damn. He had his eye on the puck the whole damn, time. Damn. What a stop. Shot. Goal. Oh, he'll pay for that. No, look out here. <gasps> what do you think? Right oh, look oh my God. No, not me, not me. Oh, star, crap. So somebody's going to step in. All right, bro. Here's what you're going to have to do, bro. Hold X and go forward, bro. Press this one once. No. Press it down. All right. Hold Dex and just go forward, bruh. Oh my god, I hate how it does it. And out of all of this, Alright, bro, you might want to start fighting. Majors. This is old time hockey. Every whistle invites a scrum. Guys seem to be more involved punching each other in the nose than they are trying to score a goal. <laughs> Wonder if this will crash the game. Might. Wonder who won. The Bruins are up on their feet, banging the boards. I don't know that the building's been louder than it is right now. Did they win or lose, though? I guess we won't know. Watch this now that he got in the fight. He's going to be very bad. Oh, crap, you're the goalie. I didn't even think of that. Uh, press the edge a bunch of times. Or you can be coach if you want. Oh my god. Why does it start you off? Ed. Whatever. One way to wear down your opponent, play physical. That's exactly what happened there. He won. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Oh, does he have a target on his back? Trying to go to Nordstrom. Got that pass in his own end. One minute left. You must take a chip to Matthews. Good save, good position. Pass attempt to Nordstrom. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. Save there. No, you fool. Oh. Two periods are in the books here, and so one more to go, and maybe overtime, but it's been an entertaining first two. The third period has begun. Let's see what we get here. That one is pointed to him. Brings a shot. Score! Oh, well, that was the CPU. CPU just went the opposite way. It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. Passing one off now to Nylander. Hatchets one. Sticked away. No. He finally got it out of there. And 
That puck is iced, and so back it will come for another faceoff. Toronto's quick on the draw. Solid glove save. Boston skating on in mid-ice. Oh, and they've got a two-on-one here. Pitching it to Carlo. Puck is thrown to Posternock. Looking to Carlo. That's a good solid hit. He'll feel that one. Right over top of him in the middle of the ice. That is a great hit. The Leafs keep the play going in the middle. A shot. Terrific challenge. Outstanding save. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you've got to find a way to put the puck in the net. Is able to move on in. Johansson's just back on the ice again. His coach doesn't want him resting too long. It's his night, and he's all over the score sheet. Maple Leafs with a face-off win. Back in his defensive end to get it. Gathered up again by Krejci. Pitching this one to Marlowe. Goalie's one of the six guys on the ice. He can pass. He did that. Missed the puck on the shot attempt. Play stopped. That puck is just held. Just under nine minutes skated here in the third. The Bruins with more than their customary offense. They have a lead in this game, five to three. A oh. hit that can make you mad. That's the way to make them pay. And move down to Johansson. It is hard work here to get the puck free. Directing that one to Goche. Fires a shot. Great save. All a part of generating an offense. Little pass off from the goal. Right along the blue line. Hammers it. Oh, what a break. Shot hit the man. That shot's blocked. It's always way more fun when there's lots of goals in the game. The players like it. Well, the offensive ones do. The defensive ones aren't so crazy about it. But I will tell you who hates it. It's the coaches. They always want to have some control of the game. Bodied off the puck. He left his feet, but not on his own, and not by choice. There's nowhere to hide in this game. There's no out of bounds. To Chara. Pitch to Johansson. A shot. Great save in close. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. Big hits in open ice. Offside is called. And so a neutral zone faceoff. Bruins have a great opportunity over the next stretch of games to really come together as a team, no. execute their game plan, and get some wins. It's not going to be easy. It never is in this league. The best players and teams find a way, Doc. Skates it into the zone. Wrister from I'm the I'm the best. Slot. They score! It's only a one-goal game now. The Leafs have cut the lead in half. And they're only behind by one here with still time left in this third period. And another face-off win. Great game for him. Toronto's in the neutral zone along the way. Let's it go. Just missed the net. Well, that's a good scoring chance. He's trying to be too fine, trying to pick the corner. Sometimes you've just got to shoot it at the middle of the net. A little under four minutes remaining in the third. The Maple Leafs have gotten back to within one. See if there's some momentum building here. Crashed into him in open ice. Laid on to Tavares. In with it now. With a blast. May not have intended it, but it hit him. Terrific determination by Johansson. It's all on his shoulders. And there's a delayed penalty call. Good. Goalie to the bench. Arm still in the air. Substitution made. Yes. Wonderful stop. 50 seconds. Toronto bro. sent to the box for two minutes. 
It's tripping. The Bruins go on the power play again. They have connected once already. Oh, man, he's got to learn to stay out of the penalty box. You're not going to be in the league long if you continue to take penalties. Using the point. He's got it. With Dad as our coach. Important interception there. Couldn't clear it out. Retreats into the defensive zone. To the point it comes. Let's it go. Oh. A power play goal. Why we don't play Spark, bro? Yeah, because he's played more games like a lot. The Maple Leafs control from the faceoff. What a heavy hit. I really like the effort that he's trying there to generate a turnover and finishing his job. By himself. And a save. Moving it to Marner. Shoots one. Great glove save, and he keeps it. To DeBrusque. Wow, they caught him again. What a punishing night for him. One on one. A brilliant save at the horn. And the game is over. Well played, it was. Boston's got the win, and their winning streak keeps going. It doesn't seem to matter who the opponent is because this team is really executing effectively on their game. That's another win, and the streak continues. So the teams have left the ice and are getting rested for next time. For this time, for Eddie and Ray, Mike Emmerich saying good night.